So, Overwatch 2 is around the corner, as we all know, and Jeff Kaplan has left the Overwatch team, and I wanted to give some of my thoughts on what's the future of the Overwatch 2 community going to look like. Um, probably not the community, but just like the game, and, and like, where is Activision going to take um, Overwatch? Because you know that they're they're the big mans with the big hands now. Um, with their sausages all stuck up in the Overwatch development. Um, here's what I think is going to happen. Overwatch is going to be littered with microtransactions and cosmetics. Most likely, they're going to be locking a whole bunch of story content behind paywalls after you pay for the base game. After you've already bought the game. Um, because you know Activision, that's what they like to do. Um, there's definitely going to be a season pass now. There's definitely going to be um, microtransactions on cosmetics. There's definitely going to be microtransactions on, on maybe even maps. Um, however... If you were even to go even further, they might even put microtransactions, making it so that you have to unlock certain characters or can't play certain characters until you've grinded for them or paid for them. Which is personally something I'm not a fan of. Like, yes, probably put microtransactions to a certain extent in your game. Yes, probably put a season pass in there, but don't lock content that specifically is like gameplay content behind a paywall um like story missions and maps and and characters things like that i do not want to have um locked because then like i can't play the characters that i know from overwatch one like let's say mccree and ash are locked like People rely on these characters in order to make certain plays, and if you lock them, there are going to be people that you need to play certain characters, and they can't because they're either on a new account or they're a new player. Um, there are some people that would be like, oh yeah, I lock the high skill characters for the new accounts so that the Smurfs can't do anything, which honestly sounds good at first, but then... Mm, it makes other things difficult. It, ma it, it makes other things upsetting and bad. Um, so, I would say there is a bonus to all of this. There is something good that can come out of all of this microtransaction bullshit. And that is, we are now going to get more content for Overwatch in Overwatch 2. They're going to continue to give us more stuff in Overwatch 2 as a result of these microtransactions. There isn't a whole lot of stuff that you have to pay for in Overwatch 1. In Overwatch 2, that is going to be the case. And they're actually going to be able to fund content for the game because that is what they have to have, is funding for new content. In older games, the reason that they didn't have a whole bunch of microtransactions in those was because they didn't make new content. They didn't need to fund the development for new content. But now, now we need to do that. That's just how new games work and that's what's on demand for new games now. And so microtransactions are required in order to make gamers and the majority of them happy. Overwatch 2 could be as big as Fortnite if it were to come out with more content, probably. But, I don't actually know, because there are a lot of people that are done, done, done with a lot of the dying and the bullshit that happens in Overwatch. Because, you, if you're good enough in Fortnite and Battle Royale games, the popular stuff, that is going to be um, basically a win there. In Overwatch, it doesn't matter how good you are, you'll still lose sometimes to some ludicrous stuff that happens to your team and i'm only in silver right now and i acknowledge this um a lot of players don't at my rank and think oh it was dps they're bad my team is bad 
Um, and that isn't never the case, honestly, but um, a lot of people don't seem to understand when that is the case. Um, from when the enemy McCree or, or, or uh, Widowmaker or Farah is just killing our team and we can't deal with her. And let's say um, somebody, doesn't matter who, is like complaining about something teammates do, damage dealers probably usually get the backhand. Farah's bad. McCree's killing us all. You suck! Just all of this, this backlash towards the damage players, um, that had get a lot of heat, and as a result, since, like, damage players are, like, the majority of the players that are in the game, which is why it takes so long to queue for damage, they, damage isn't fun, as a result. There's so much stuff that doesn't like you. Your team doesn't like you, the enemy team, of course, isn't gonna like you if you're doing well. I mean, that's a good thing, but then you have to sit there and wait for queue times to log into a game that is ridiculous. There's not a whole lot I think Overwatch 2 can do about that, except for balance the amount of um, characters that are in every role. I feel like that's what needs to be done. Um, because there's this much damage dealers, and then there's this much tanks and healers. There's like, there, there, there's not very many. Um, and I feel like that's that's part of another problem that makes Overwatch just kind of like not fun for a lot of people. Um, Overwatch is in that state of League of Legends, where I feel like it would be okay to pay for like a cosmetics pack. Not for like a whole skin, because we know we're going to have to customize or not have to but get to we're gonna get to customize our skins as my current knowledge is been sourced up and put into awareness um but that could change tomorrow that information could th that decision could could change in the future because the game's still in development they haven't made final decisions on everything yet but they've let us know what they want to do and Activision is pulling the strings. Most likely as a result, they're going to release the game broken and bugged. Um, but it is a competitive sport. It's not single player. Single player games, when you had Cyberpunk 2077 come out, when that game was a mess at launch, people picked up that game, finished it while it was still buggy, and moved on. And CD Projekt Red is still trying to fix it and put it together and make it work. But unfortunately, people are already done with Cyberpunk. The, the, the trend is over. So, Activision, they they tend to still be pretty smart with their release of games. Um, they don't hype it up too much. It's like, here's our new Call of Duty game. Here you go. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of microtransactions in it. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but they make the microtransactions kind of pricey. And that's that's a problem. I feel like you have there's way too much stuff that you have to pay for um and yes that constantly funds new content but that's a problem for me personally so anyway that's the, those are my thoughts on overwatch 2 the electric boogaloo um i'm i'm finished so later <laughs>